And this is what I realized after chasing this goal of turning pro for, for so many years. I really just embraced the idea. I want to be comfortable for a while. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, I'm going to be speaking about that sense of loss of direction and loss of ambition after a contest prep or an extended fat loss phase. Now, as difficult as contest preps can be or even just fat loss phases for lifestyle clients, it gives us a real sense of purpose, a real tangible direction. We always wake up in the morning with a very specific goal that we're chasing. And this can be bodybuilding in general, right? There's, there's always a very tangible, very objective goal that we're shooting towards. And when a very significant phase is over, like a contest prep, you can be left feeling a little bit lost, like you're lacking direction, lacking motivation, what's next? <laughs> it's, a, it's a difficult place to be, especially coming off the high of competing and potentially you know, doing really well or winning a show. Um, it's certainly a way that I've felt pretty much every time that I've competed before. And I want to relay a message that I'm in this place right now and I realized this very quickly after my last show is that I had the opportunity to either allow myself to get into that place or reframe the situation. And I think that as athletes, whether you compete or not, Always having a goal looming over your head that you're chasing every day can also be pretty stressful and pretty overwhelming. Because we're always chasing those goals, there is always some level of discomfort that we have to become familiar with or that we have to become comfortable with, being comfortable in discomfort. And that's really great, but it's also really, really nice and probably pretty advantageous for your future career to spend certain periods of time just allowing yourself to be comfortable. And this is what I realized after chasing this goal of turning pro for, for so many years, I really just embraced the idea, I wanna be comfortable for a while. I don't wanna be excessively hungry. I don't wanna be excessively full. I don't wanna feel like I'm super skinny. I don't wanna feel like I'm getting fat. And I don't wanna have any specific goal that I'm waking up to every single morning, chasing down, chasing down this goal. I just want to get back into a place of why I got into bodybuilding in the first place, because I love it. I love the process. I love training. That's the space that I want to exist in right now. And if you are a person like me and you are a competitive athlete, that is not going to last forever because you're going to get to a point where you get bored and you're going to want that goal. But you're going to know when that time comes because you will know you will be bored and you will know when it's ready to move on. The point here is don't rush the process. Allow yourself to live in a gray area for a while. And that's just a different kind of discomfort. But be comfortable in that too. And embrace being in a place where you're not making progress because in a lot of ways, that is making progress. It's making progress mentally because you're allowing yourself to relax. You're allowing yourself to recover. Number two, it can be making pro uh, progress physically because if you are de-stressing, recovery is going to be optimized. You're probably going to see your training performance move up. It'll set you up in a really good position for whatever phase you move into thereafter. And there will be a renewed sense of motivation for whatever you decide to pursue afterwards because you've given, given yourself that time for recovery and falling in love with the process again. Maintenance is not overrated. It's not appropriate all the time. We do wanna be chasing our goals and we do wanna be reaching new levels. But sometimes, just like a diet break during a contest prep, the best way to do that is taking a step back, allowing some recovery to take place, and then pushing on when you are ready to do so. So embrace that gray area, guys.